Behold the Earth, a planet mostly covered by water. In addition to oceans, lakes, and rivers on the Earth's surface, water flows downward through ancient caverns deep underground. One such massive natural reservoir lies under South Central Texas. Following the Balcones Fault Zone, the whole system spans hundreds of miles from Del Rio to Waco. The Edwards Aquifer has provided people living in this area fresh, life-supporting water for over 12,000 years, and water to plants and animals for millennia before that. Our journey through the aquifer begins in Texas Hill Country's drainage area. Here, rain falls and flows over the Edwards Plateau. Rushing downhill, these drops of rain gather into streams, gain momentum, and then spill into larger streams and rivers. Then, something astonishing occurs. Most of the water enters the earth through sinkholes and cracks in the stream beds made of porous Edwards limestone in the recharge zone. The water refills or recharges the aquifer. The sides and bottom of a sinkhole are full of interconnected cavities carved by water dissolving the limestone. This maze of caves and conduits provides habitat for many wondrous subterranean creatures. For example, an amazing little spider called the Bone Cave Harvestman thrives on the wet walls of this sinkhole. About the size of a drop of water, it is pale orange, long-legged, and blind from generations of living in darkness. Below the sinkhole, water flows farther into the earth through countless adjoining spaces. Some several feet in diameter, others small passages, no wider than a finger. Others microscopic. Deeper we go. As we descend, we are pulled into a maze of water-filled conduits. Here in the artesian zone, hydraulic pressure moves water continuously dissolving limestone, making small holes into larger passages. It's been carving and reshaping the aquifer for 17 million years and counting. Plunging deeper underground, we're moving eastward toward San Antonio. Here at 1,500 feet below the surface, we see man-made wells that tap the aquifer for water. To support agriculture, industry, and our large South Central Texas population, we've drilled thousands of wells into the aquifer, pumping hundreds of millions of gallons of water a day to almost two million people who live above. We're sinking deeper and deeper underground, now a half mile below the surface, never touched by sunshine, now, at a few thousand feet underground, the water, warmed by the earth, is a constant 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Two primitive troglobitic catfish thrive at this depth. The larger one, the wide-mouthed blind cat, lives in caves and conduits. It grows nearly six inches long, has large jaws and lots of teeth, and preys upon smaller creatures. The smaller one, the toothless blind cat, grows only four inches long and scavenges bacteria from cave walls. It has no eyes or teeth, but instead has taste buds all over its body, like those on your tongue. Leaving this deep area of the aquifer, we're now being pushed upward back toward the Earth's surface. At 850 feet beneath San Antonio, we pass the J-17 index well. Located at Fort Sam Houston, this well is used to monitor the water level of the aquifer. Pressure in the artesian zone pushes us northeastward through a narrower part of the aquifer. Here and nowhere else in the world, 
lives the Texas blind salamander. Only four inches long, it perches on small ledges lining the walls of caves near San Marcos Springs. Its bright red gills extract oxygen from the constant flow and even temperature of the water. Though blind, it finds food, tiny snails, shrimp, and vertebrates, by sensing minute pressure changes in the water. Tremendous pressure propels water to the surface at artesian springs between San Antonio and San Marcos. These are the same springs that Native Americans found and revered and that attracted European settlers to these areas. Though we've traveled over a hundred miles, today's journey only took us a few minutes. Water, however, may take months to years to make the same journey. This expanse of land holds an invaluable buried treasure upon which so much life in South Central Texas depends. Help protect it and conserve it for our and future generations.